I think we're nearing the end with this series of Thomas John on the Above and Beyond show with Laura Smith, W-A-B-C-77. I think it's in Los Angeles. Not quite sure. Thomas John, known as the Manhattan Medium at this time, he has um, been a hot reader as long as I've known him. A call-in show that he's doing a radio call-in show. At first, I thought, oh, he's cold reading because this is an old Thomas John from 2016 16, and because it's kind of hard to do a call-in show you know, over the radio. But then we ended up getting information that um, screenshots and my team has been researching. And we found quite a few times that Thomas John, what he'll do is he'll say, I'm going to be on this show, um, call in for a reading or would you like a reading? And that's fine. That would be normally fine in almost every situation, except that what Thomas John is doing is um, he's exchanging emails with people who he says, call in and I'll give you a reading, knowing fully well that their Facebook page is right there um, for them, which is what he does on um, people. He makes a post who wants a reading and then somebody says, I do. And then this conversation is happening on Facebook. So their Facebook page is right there in front of him. Two minutes. He's got enough information on the person to get through who knows what. I also noticed that there is a computer screen right there and they're able to go and look at who's calling in next and, and so on. So he does know who's going to be calling in, uh, where they're from. I don't know what else is on that computer screen. I don't think that the screener or Laura um, Smith is in on this in any way. I think that they're just think that he's just the most amazing psychic in the world. And Mother's Day 2016. I'm watching this for the very first time. So when I get done showing the, the video that I'm going to show you, can you please write your predictions or what you think I'm going to say or what you think of the reading in the comments underneath this video. And also you'll find the link to this video in its complete full form if you want to listen to the whole thing. Apparently he was on this show every Sunday. And apparently I need to stop saying apparently because I keep saying apparently and I think I'm just getting tired. So let's go listen to this video and see what we think. I don't know. It might be hot reading. It might be cold reading. Who knows what it might be. It might be a combination. I know that they're hurrying. They're trying to get go go really fast now. But I show that there's another 20 minutes or so left in this video. So I don't know why they're in such a hurry. No, nine minutes left in the video, which is like an eternity when you're trying to do these videos. So this should be video number six in the series. To the chase here, we're going to now go to um, Becky. Thank you, Becky, for, for holding on. What's your question for Thomas John, honey? Um, I've lost my son, and I wanted to know if we've made the right decision. Of course, sweetheart. So you lost your son and you want to know if you made the right decisions? Yes. Was he a baby, honey? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm feeling is, is he knew coming into the physical world, the soul knows. So he knew he was leaving. He knew he wasn't going to be here for a long, long time. But even though he was, you know, even though he crossed when he was very young, I just feel like he, he knew. He kind of knew. But I want to tell you, he was very happy, wasn't he? Like, didn't he, didn't you notice that in his affect? Wasn't he always very happy and in a good mood and things mm -hmm. like that? Extremely happy. Yeah, very, very happy. And he said that, did you know with him coming into the world, did you know he might have had medical problems? Like, did you know that in advance? No. Okay. What, what is the thing with the muscles or the spine or the back? He had spinal muscular atrophy. He had spinal, okay, because he's bringing that up. And he's also showing me something around his neck like a brace. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But he knows you visit the grave, honey, and he's always there. But there's another child coming. Are you, are you trying to get pregnant again? I am pregnant. Okay, because he just told me there's another child coming. He's going to be very connected to the child. So if you said that you're pregnant, absolutely. That's what he's talking about. And you're going to notice him all around. He's always around you and stuff. But he said it's important that you're a mother now to the kids that are here. 
You know, you can't be over there with him worried about him. He's fine. He, he's actually, he's very high vibration. He's like up with the angels and stuff. So don't, don't worry about him. But you made all the right decisions. He said you couldn't have given him a better life. And who's the D? Is that his father, D? Yes. Okay, because I, I want to make sure that he's open to feeling his son around. Because his son visits him a lot, but he says that, you know, he's a little closed off, not as open as you, so it's hard. But he missed, and your mom, weren't they so close? Yes. Yeah, because it's hard for her too. But I know that he's he's doing very well over there, especially on Mother's Day. I know he wanted to come through, but he visits you all the time and stuff. But you couldn't have done anything better for this kid. All right, sweetheart. Okay, Thank honey. you. God bless you. Anything. And happy Mother's Day and to your new baby too. We're so grateful that you called in today. All right. No, just no. I no. That woman is grieving, and he's just manipulating her emotions. That's just cruel, don't you think? Do you guys agree? He read her Facebook page. We know he did. No, this man hot reads all the time we've caught him so many times hot reading and he read this and this poor woman is so emotional on mother's day he can see the screen he knows she's calling in now he knows which person it is probably that oh my gosh just did i make the right decision now why since when did her infant child get so wise he's at a higher vibration up there in heaven it's just platitudes and just nonsense. I, I, it feels like it's just so cruel to do that to somebody as if they're not an adult and we're going to have to, you know, infantize, infantize these mothers as if they, you know, oh, well, we're just going to have to try to make them feel better because, you know, we can't have that. He's so wise, this infant that's giving his mother advice. And he knew, and he was happy, and he knew his life would be short, and he knows all about his medical condition. And just cruel. What if something happens to the baby she's carrying right now? Well, Thomas John won't be around. He won't have to hear it. She's, she, she can't complain to him. He's just trying to make her feel good. Yeah, I don't think Laura Smith is in on it at all. I think she truly thinks he's really the real deal. Let me show you the screenshot. Because I've, I've showed him in the other videos. This is the sixth video. And I've showed him in some of the others. So let me show it to you again. Just as a reminder of what's going on here. Hold on. So we just learned about this um, this morning. So my team has been working on it for, um, well, I mean, they've got lives. So we've only had a few hours to work on this, but we've been trying to find posts of people who are, where Thomas John is saying for this particular show, because we've seen him do this for other shows. I mean, even Vegas, this is how he did his Vegas show. So here he is, 2016. So um, not exactly this um, this exact um, reading that we're doing right now, but um, this is we found lots of these. So let me show them here to you. Call me for a reading. I'm on for the next hour, and then people will comment. And even in that time, he's able to pull them up. Like this one says, phone lines are busy, and this one says me. And if you were if you were to click it, if it wasn't just a screenshot I was showing you right now, you'd be able to click that for Heather and you'd be able to see Heather's Facebook profile. And then once you profile her whole page and once you go into her Facebook page, I don't want to show you because that would be a little too personal. And you go in and within a couple minutes, you really should be able to find at least the basics. You should be able to find um, where their grief is. You should be able to find out like where they live. You should be able to find out all kinds of information. Remember, Thomas Dunn doesn't have to have, he doesn't have to find the specific thing that he said. He just has to find something to say. 
it could have been completely different. Like maybe this woman was thinking about moving or maybe she was going to change a job or maybe she had just bought a house or maybe she was going to buy a car or maybe somebody was graduating. It could have been anything that he found on her Facebook page within a couple minutes of looking. And then he just regurgitates it back to her and as if he's getting it from the dead. That's all this is. And trust me, two minutes to find two or three things. And then you you lace it with platitudes because Thomas John's very good at this, even though it's been 2016, he's really good at getting the, you know, the, you know, the verbiage down to make it sound like he's really um, speaking to you whenever it's a lot of fluff amongst these statements that he's already got information for. Here's, here's another one. Um, he's amazing. You're killing it. Yes. Please message me the phone number. Here's the phone number to call in. And this one says, Claire says, I'm calling in. So if Claire was to come up on the call, then, you know, we would know that it was Claire. Just click on her Facebook page. There he is. He can look on the computer screen to see who's coming in next. And Thomas John just came back from a break, um, the caller before this. So he had a nice long break, plenty of time to go over to the Facebook page and, and look and see who's just said that they're calling in right now. And he might see a Claire calling in and he would look at the screen and there's a Claire and there's also this Jen and this one named Michelle. And he could look and see them on there and he could look and see if that's the people who's calling in. I mean, there's not tens of thousands of people calling in. There's probably, you know, a few dozens maybe and this is not like a world now world renowned show that everybody in the world's calling in so probably if somebody named claire says i'm calling in right now and then he looks at the screen and there's a claire on it pretty pretty good guess that's who he was looking at here's another one here's what's that phone number here's the phone number and so on and um let's go back to this other one i'm going to show you the first one that really got me here this is this one that we received from somebody who um, this morning, she shared this with me. She's, she's exchanging an email with Thomas John. She says, hello, I'm interested in the recorded reading I saw on Facebook. He's like, oh yeah, would you like a reading on Thomas John's show tomorrow? tomorrow? And so this person did get a reading with Thomas John on the day that he said, call in and I will give you a reading. And they had a reading the um, person it's a she she said that it was accurate but a lot of general stuff about a man she was going to meet and you know all this other stuff she says none of it came true but um this is this is what it looks like is so you're exchanging emails or you can you could either exchange emails with a person and, and get like a couple that you know in advance you know a day or two notice to look at or and and or you could look right on that day and look at the Facebook page, even minutes before you're on air and look and see who's who's on there. Make a few mental notes. You don't even have to write this down. A few mental notes of what you're um, looking for. OK, infant child died, had some disease that had something to do with the neck and the back. Uh, the child died very young, uh, very attached to the grandmother and she's pregnant. He said, I think you're trying for another baby. And she says, I'm pregnant. So. He probably knew she was pregnant, but he, he worded it so that it would be like, I think you're trying for another baby because it makes it a little more, it feels more accurate if he's sort of vague and kind of wrong. I know that sounds kind of not intuitive, but that's just the way they do it. So it's getting late here. I don't think I'm going to do any more tonight. I'm not sure I'm going to do many more. <laughs> ah. Um. So this is video six in this series. There's probably three more readings. They're probably very similar to this. I don't know if I'm going to go and do those or not. You um, please put your comments. <laughs> See, I have the hiccups. Put your comments in the <laughs> end of the video. Um, and if you like this kind of thing where we do an in-depth look at mediumship and that kind of thing, please go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. Hit like. Please give us a little bell, you know, click the bell so you know when I'm uploading new things. So this is video six in this series. And um, please go back and look at the others. You'll you'll get a little more detail about what's going on if you look at all the video, 
all the videos in order, especially the first one, I go into more depth um, because this is the sixth reading out of the same um, recording or same 30 minute block on this radio show. So I can't repeat everything every time that's going on. So if you have questions, please go back and look at the other videos. And I look forward to your comments. Thank you all for being here. And thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing.